Well, inflation was a huge buzzword of 2022, and there doesn't seem to be any end in sight as we get into the new year. And eating healthy is sometimes considered pricey. Here to talk about that, and with tips to give you your best health on a budget, is healthy lifestyle expert, Dr. Kate Rayom, ND. Good morning. Good morning. So Dr. Kate, I mean, being healthy, more pricey. That seems to be a theme and you're already shaking your head no. Tell me why it is not the case. Definitely not. You can get caught up in spending a lot of money on uh, things to improve your own health, but it's absolutely not necessary. You can definitely be, you know, your healthiest on a budget. We're all feeling the pinch right now, but there's still lots we can do to be healthier without breaking the bank. And that is what we're here to talk about today. You've provided some tips. Uh, the first one on my list that you shot over to me is meal planning. How does this help budgetarily and healthily? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, for meal planning is a really important thing to do in terms of, you know, making the most of your grocery dollars. You can check what's on sale, plan your meals accordingly, uh, even cook for the week. That means that you're going to be having less takeout. Typically eating at home is healthier. And also, you know, you can look at things, for example, you know, I've got some chicken thighs here. They are less expensive and more nutritious, more vitamins and minerals than say chicken breasts or get a cheaper cut of meat you know, pull out the old slow cooker, let that cook away all day. You're saving money and making more nutritious meals. Now, speaking of nutrition, that's actually where we head to next. Your second tip is preventing nutrient deficiencies. I'm curious how that factors in on a budget because nutrients equal expensive. You think greens and you think about adding that extra $2 to your uh, combo so you get a salad instead of fries, which I hate that whole world. But tell me about this. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, you know, when it comes to food, shopping for things that are in season is important and will save you money. But there's certain nutrients that we need that we just can't get efficiently from food. For example, vitamin D. We know that vitamin D levels are at their lowest at this time of year. We all need it at every stage of life for immune health and bone health. And vitamin D supplements are probably the least expensive supplement that you can buy. They're very inexpensive. Uh, you can shop around at this time of year, even you might find them on sale, but it doesn't cost a lot of money and it's an ineffect or inexpensive way rather to get in this important nutrient. And there's other nutrients that are harder to get from our food. Uh, they may cost a little more, but it's more of an investment, you know, checking out your local health food store for a good omega-3 essential fatty acid supplement. Again, another nutrient that challenging to get through our diet and they think a big difference in our health. Okay, now every time you and I chat, somehow, some way, sleep comes up and stress comes up. And it's no different this time, managing, uh, improving sleep quality and managing stress. That's right. These things go hand in hand. And if your sleep isn't as good as you'd like it to be, it's a wonderful New Year's project to work on making that better. Again, doesn't cost a penny, but really goes a long way in improving health and reducing stress. So things like sleeping in a dark room, keeping a regular sleep schedule, uh, sleeping in a cool room, for example, turning the heat down at night saves a little money on energy and helps you get a better night's sleep, not uh, being on screens too late at night because that reduces your melatonin production. All of that doesn't cost a penny. It will help you sleep better and that in turn helps with stress. And finally, it's January. So we have to talk about exercise, of course. We do. And, you know, getting in shape or, or being a little bit more active doesn't have to cost a penny. You don't need an expensive gym membership, just getting moving. There's lots of free apps, exercise apps, or, uh, you know, free videos online if you need some inspiration. But the key thing is, is just to move. Set a timer, walk up and down the stairs for five minutes, uh, push up, sit ups, anything like this. Studies have shown doing anything is better than nothing. And even just five minute exercise snacks, as they're called, can really go a long way in improving your fitness without costing you a penny. All right, without costing you a penny, because pennies don't exist anymore. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, it's 2023. It's healthy, being healthy on a budget. Thanks so much, Dr. Kate. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Take care.